so boom. And once that's in there, we're all good. We don't have to worry about that side anymore. What's going on everybody, Only Mike here, and what I'm going to be doing today is um, showing you guys how to make double doors. Okay, I was searching the forums, and I'm always seeing, you know, um, people wanting help on how do you do this, and how do you do that, and uh, someone was asking how you make double doors. So I decided I'd just post a quick video since my recording thing's all out of whack pretty much, and I can't do long videos. So... If you're wondering how to get that, it's very easy. It just requires some uh, building and breaking down of stuff. And what's even better is that the mini bike fits right through there with no problems at all. And you don't have to fight it. So it would be good for like a garage, a barn, something like that, you know, that you wanted to make. Um, it's pretty awesome. But let's jump right to it and get to building. So I'm going to do this in a time lapse. Um, so you guys can see it. Uh, you know what? No, we're not going to do a time lapse. So first off, we're going to just build the basics, okay? And I'm doing this because a little ramp to get up. So we start off like this, and we should all know that we cannot we cannot place it in there without building up these frames. So let's go ahead and build those guys up right quick okay that's all we need to get our door in so boom and once that's in there we're all good we don't have to worry about that side anymore so what we want to do we want to take this down and you want to chop down all this stuff Now we're just doing this to get it out of the way because you're not even going to be using these these blocks right here. You, you're not even technically going to be using that side right there, just the one up above, just to make the aesthetics. And then you're going to place some blocks in front of the door and on the opposite side there. We're doing the same thing that we did right there, but right here. Let's place that. Let's take these down. We don't need them anymore. There we go. Let's put our one right in the middle. And then once again, you would put it in like this, but we can't yet because it's not upgraded. So let's go and upgrade that. Now, you don't have to put this in here yet, your frames. You don't have to, but we're going to, because it just looks better once it's done. And then, let's come back over here, let's pick these up, and now we can place our door. And now, make sure you have it turned this way, okay? Make sure you have it turned opposite way, because it's, it's going on the other side of the door. If it's turned like this, it's going to look stupid. So, make sure, and you can't place it like this. So make sure you have it turned that way with the little green box facing on the inside of the wood. That's how you can place it. And then there we go. And then that's pretty much done. You just tear this stuff down around it. go then you can go along and go ahead and finish up any little touches that you want to do to it and the door will stay right there and they each open different ways you got an indoor and an outdoor um, as far as I know that's the only way that you can set them up um, to successfully be like this um, I, I assume you could go like um, and do triple door 
or something, but yeah, I'm not too sure about all that. But that's how you do double doors, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this little tip. Um, I will show you right quick with the mini bike. This is what this is great for. Great for mini bike access. And you go right through them. And there's no problem at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip. And uh, I'll be sure to bring you guys another one. Until next time. Later.